Hey guys, it's Dave from 3 dp and Me, and today we're going to be doing a quick assembly guide for the Clicky probe. We will be covering the VCore 3 dock, the piston Clicky probe, and the EVA 3 arm probe arm. Um, note the assembly for the EVA 2 arm is identical, the geometry is just slightly different to get the probe in the same place. Right, let's get into it. Right, so we're going to start by installing the probe dot onto the Recore 3 probe mount, like so. Um, this version does use heat set inserts here and here, so we're going to install those first using the standard M3 heated inserts. Just gonna pop one there. Now I do use the LDO insert adapter for my soldering iron, which does make life a bit easier, but just a regular soldering iron will be fine here. Try not to use your good soldering tips. Plastic it does have a habit of ruining them. And voila, just like that. Repeat for the second one. So you will want to make sure that the inserts sit under flush. Um, if they're sticking out, the dot position will be affected slightly. Um, just give these a little bit of time to cool down. Meanwhile, let's pop the magnet in the back of here. Um, it's obviously important that the magnet on the probe is attracted to this one. Um, so double check the orientation with that when you do it. But at this stage, we're just going to pop it in because it's the first part we've made. We're then going to get the dock. The two countersunk holes go on the underside. And then the probe goes with the magnet on the right hand side. Put your M3 by 16s, put them in, and do them up. my own keys. I'm going to do these reasonably tight um, because the forces from the magnets on the probe do pull it around a little bit. Um, but there we go, ready to install on your V-Core 3. First things first, we're going to apply the magnet to the back of this probe. Take a small amount of your super glue. Got a bit of excess there. And just drop it into the probe. You don't need a huge amount. Of your magnets. Um, remember that this magnet needs to attract the one in the dock that you assembled earlier. So check the orientation with that one before fitting this in the hole. The bit is normally quite easy, and the magnet should sit just under flush. Next up, we are going to fit the switch. Um, many of your switches might come with the um, spring lever still attached. The easiest way is to just remove this by snapping it off. Then take the switch, check that the actual switch part lines up with the arrow on the probe, 
and push it in. Um, this part will probably be quite loose. Next take the clicky piston body and your plastic printed piston. Assemble the piston into the body. It should be quite a smooth motion in the movement. If not, you may need to scale the printed pin section um, down to maybe 98-99% just to get that smooth fit. Then take your probe, line up the holes and drop in your M2 screws. Take your screwdriver and just tighten those up. You want to go reasonably tight on these screws to ensure this section doesn't move, but don't go so tight that you strip the, the plastic on the inside of the holes. That's all gone well. The probe should be aligned, the piston section should be aligned with the switch itself. Um, and when you press the tip of the piston in, you'll hear the click of the switch, and when you release it, it should go back to the original position. If yours isn't moving smoothly like this, you're probably best to take it apart and print a slightly smaller one. Next we're going to install the magnets on the top of the probe. Um, these two need to have the same orientation and this one will be the opposite. There is an assistance device for helping you put them in, um, however I tend to just do it by hand. Take your super glue again and apply a small dob in each of the three holes. Now take your first magnet, press it in. Your second magnet over here, remember, needs to be the same orientation as this one. I like to snap that one on and slide it across before pushing it in. Again, to remove them so that without the magnet following with you, I like to slide this off rather than pull it off. The final magnet needs to be the opposite orientation. Just turn your stack of magnets around and just double check that when you push them together they resist each other. Then head on over and slide that one in. Again, sliding sideways to release it. Sometimes this magnet can like to jump out at this stage. Um, so it can be useful just to take your other part of your printed assistant device and slide the probe um, Right, take the printed probe arm. Um, you will notice that there has been some deliberate hole sections closed up in the CAD model. That was to ensure a nice bridging of the rest of the hole. Um, we do however now have to just break that uh, little section open so that we can feed the wire through. So if you take a screwdriver and just dig it in, you should be able to open up a little hole to feed the wires out of the, the probe. Good. Next, take some um, hookup wire. Uh, I'm using 24AWG here, which fits nicely on these probes. Um, we're going to do it all in black today um, because it doesn't actually matter which way around the switch is wired. a short section. I like to have a connector on the end of this wire 
um, coming out of the probe arm in case I want to swap it out for whatever reason to test other probes. Um, however, you may want to have a full length of wire long enough to go back to your printer controller board. Um, but for now, we're just going to snip two short sections to go back to a connector near to the probe arm itself. You want to feed the wires in from the top side of the probe arm through. Take your wire strippers and strip a few millimeters off of the end. Twist these to keep the wires together. And place it so that it just goes through that hole that we opened up back into the thing. What you want to make sure this section as you pull the wire back through is that the strip section goes all the way up to the top of the magnet's uh, magnet hole's edge. Or alternatively, the insulation stops just before the magnet hole, depending on how you look at it. You want to repeat that with the second wire. Take that through. Strip the short section off. Twist the wires again. Feed that just into that hole at the bottom. Oops, twisted the wires well enough there. Again, making sure you don't go too deep so that the insulation stops at the top of the magnet hole. Um, this is required because the electrical contact will flow through the magnets um, and into the wires. Right. Next up, grab your glue. Pop three drops in again, one in each hole. Now remember, the polarity of these magnets needs to attract their opposite counterpart on the probe. So I like to start with the single one, check the polarity by attaching my stack there, um, because this side, the one that attracted to it, needs to face outwards. You want to flip this stack and push that magnet into place. Again, slide that off to avoid pulling it out because these magnets plug. Right, so check the polarity of these magnets against the existing one. Um, just flip them over and then you're going to press these into their holes. Just like that. These can be a bit tight um, and sometimes you want to get a surface that you won't damage. Um, and just use that just to press down against them nice and firm so that they sit nice and flat but fully into their slot. Again, these should sit slightly proud of the um, printed part because you need that good contact between these magnets and the ones on the probe. Once you've done that, it's always good to have a quick check that you've got your magnets aligned the right way around. Um, if you don't, your probe won't sit nicely like this. Um, it is quite a good idea to wait a little for the glue to dry before you do this. Um, but you can always avoid pulling the magnets back out of the slots by sliding the probe off sideways rather than pulling them apart. At this stage, you can now apply a connector of your choice to the end of the probe arm wires. Um, but obviously that is up to you. This part will bolt straight onto the side of the EVA carriage using the normal M3 probe mount holes. 
Um, and the probe itself will just sit in the probe dock. Thank you for watching guys. I hope the video is useful and that you enjoy using the cookie probe going forwards. Don't forget to like, subscribe and check out the full tutorial for configuration instructions over at www.3dpme.com. Links are in the description. Have a nice day.